Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here, and I have a very exciting video for you today. I am part of an entire artist train representing Poor Con. Now, Poor Con is an amazing event that is happening in August in Las Vegas, where you can come and learn from some of the best fluid art teachers on the planet, and I do mean on the planet. People are coming from all over the world to teach you. It's going to be an amazing event. I myself will be there teaching you about the business of art, including how to grow your Facebook page and your YouTube channel and actually make money from them. So go get signed up, poorcon.com, and I'll see you there. But for today, I am making an incredible painting that will be um, raffled off at Porcon for you. And check down in the description of this video because there's going to be a whole lineup of other amazing artists that are going to be premiering today. And you won't want to miss it. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So because I am teaching the business of art at PoorCon, I kind of get to choose whatever I would like to do as a technique for this video. And I chose to do a triple grenade pour. Now the grenade pour is inspired by Massey Art Studio. That's where I first saw it and I think it's such a fun technique. I took three 16 ounce plastic cups and I used the jumbo push pins in the bottom of them. I get these push pins from Amazon. I think you can also get them from office stores, but you're gonna just put it in the outside wall of the bottom of the cup. Then go ahead and fill your cups up with whatever colors you would like. All of the paints that I'm using today are mixed media girl pouring paints. They're easy to use, you right out of the bottle, just go for it. And I wanted to go for sort of a galactic look without it being too dark. So I didn't use any black, but I started off with some white. Then I used some deep sea navy blue and then some electric pink. Then I used a little bit of gold and some, a color that is actually um, a limited edition color. It's called Royal Blue Shimmer and it's a gorgeous metallic blue. And then I also used some electric purple and some royal purple. So really, really awesome colors. And I continued to layer these in the cups until I had enough paint. I'm using a 20 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvas. So it's got uh, the slightly deeper sides. And um, for that, I need about 25 ounces of paint. These are each 16 ounce cups, so I filled them up a little bit over halfway, which should equate to about 25 ounces. I didn't particularly measure, but just make sure that you have plenty to cover your canvas. You don't wanna be stuck with not quite enough paint on there. You could also always use a base coat, but typically I don't. Once I got my cups fully filled, I had the fun part of flipping them without dumping all the paint out too early because I already have my canvas attached to a spinner, plus I'm flipping three cups, so I can't really do the uh, normal flip cup technique super easily, but I've become quite adept at this. Then I pushed all of my cups to the center of the canvas with the pins facing the outside, and then I tried to pull them more or less at the same time. There's three and I only have two hands, so uh, I did my best. Now you can probably see why it's called a grenade pour here because the paint kind of explodes out, which is really awesome. And it creates really cool designs and patterns. I find it often gives an awesome lacing effect. So once you have let it kind of explode out of there, you can lift up the cup to dump the rest of the paint out and you can swirl it through the paint if you want. I decided to kind of pull it up and swirl one time. I wanted to mainly keep the uh, original grenade design on there. I put my cups around the edge of the canvas so that I could drain the rest of the paint in there. And it wasn't totally centered, so I tilted it a little bit. 
Now to answer our question, I'm probably going to get on how did I attach this canvas to a spinner? I'm using my metal cake spinner. It is only 13 inches. So I simply took another canvas, a 16 by 20 inch canvas, and I put that upside down on the spinner and then I attached this canvas to that one. The 16 by 20 inch still has a plastic on it, so I'm not worried about ruining it or anything. It'll still be totally fine. You could also use cardboard, a piece of wood, anything else like that. Now I wanted to make sure that I could easily get my corners covered. So I took some additional royal purple paint and I put that around the edges and I spread that around just going up to the very edge of my design. And this is going to help when I spin it out to get full coverage without having to try to spin too much to get the piece covered because I'm going to want to definitely maintain the really cool parts of that design as much as possible. I tilted it again to center it just a little bit more and then spun it out. You can spin as hard or as light as you want. This is a bigger canvas, um, so I didn't want to spin it too hard because the paint can go flying pretty far if you spin it hard. So I spun it pretty gently and you can see the paint's not going far at all. It's going pretty much right underneath the canvas and that already got pretty good coverage. I then used my hands to kind of uh, move the paint towards the not covered parts and tilted it a little bit more. I did not want to have to spin this a whole bunch. So all of this is going to help so I don't have to spin it quite as much, but we'll still get the awesome uh, effects of spinning. So I spun it again a little bit harder <laughs> to try to get everything covered on the second spin. I was hoping to only spin two times. And if you don't have a large space to do something like this, you can always put it in a box or you can put up plastic or cardboard around it so that you don't have to worry about it. Um, but once again, if you just spin gently, it's not really an issue. And so it's a little dizzying when it spins, but super fun to watch. So at this point, I had it mostly covered. There's a couple points on the corners that weren't quite covered and then also on the sides. So I just took some paint with my hands and I got all of the sides covered. The design on the sides even looks absolutely gorgeous. You'll see when I take you in for the close up pretty shortly. And I am loving the colors on this. I think it came out perfectly, not too dark, but it still has that galactic vibe. And I think it will darken a little bit as it dries as well. So it's gonna end up pretty perfect. Now there was one corner that I was still having a lot of trouble getting covered. So I took a little bit of additional purple paint and I just poured that onto the corner. It seemed to be the best idea. I thought about trying to pour some from my cups, but there was too much white in there and it wouldn't have matched. So I just took a little more of the royal purple and added that onto the corner and then gave it one final spin to get that fully covered or to, well, not to get it fully covered, but more to integrate that purple corner in with the rest of the design. So it's just a really, really light spin on that final one. And there you have it. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So make sure you get your tickets to PourCon if you would like to possibly win this piece in a raffle, along with a bunch of awesome other artist pieces. And please make sure you check down in the description for the other videos on this train. So here's the close-up of the piece wet. I did want to get a close-up of it dry, but unfortunately it's just not going to dry in time for the video. Um, but I can tell you it is drying beautifully. <laughs> so it just, uh, it's been really cold in Los Angeles, which is making things take a little longer to dry. But check out all these amazing details. We've got some incredible lacing, some awesome cells popping up. And I'm just in love with the design on this and the, and the colors and just everything about it. So thank you to Massey Art Studio for this awesome technique. And uh, thank you to Porcon for putting on this awesome event. So enjoy a little more close up here and then we'll close out the video.
I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. I am so happy with it. I think the colors are just gorgeous, great technique. So once again, go get signed up at PoorCon.com and I will see you in Las Vegas.